Hello and welcome everyone to this express yoga session. So this express yoga practice I've designed to help you rejuvenate after a long flight. As you can see here, I'm in a hotel gym. I'm in beautiful Bali. We've just landed. It's hot here. The climate is different and I've been seated for such a long time that I just really want to move my body, breathe into the space and acclimatize with this new location. So if that's you, to roll out a yoga mat and let's begin. This session I've recorded today is uh, an intermediate to an advanced flow. We do move quite quickly. So if you're a total beginner, you'll want to go back and check out one of my beginner videos and I'll link to them here. Otherwise, moving with me now, standing at the back end of your mat, inhale, open your chest, palms forward, chest up, exhale, round forwards. Bend your knees as you round forwards and see if you can move with your breath here. Inhale through your nose, open your chest, exhale round, getting a little bit deeper every time until your hands connect with your mat. Slowly start to walk yourself forward into a high plank position, then gently dropping your hips and pressing yourself back into child's pose, hips to heels, long spine. Round up through your spine now like an angry cat position and start to shift this angry cat forward and back. Remember to spread your fingers out nice and wide on your mat here. You'll feel perhaps a bit of a stretch through your forearms. And then when you're ready, lift up into downward facing dog. Do any movements in downward dog that feel good for you. I like to pedal out the feet here, one heel lowering than the other. And then even shifting my heels from side to side. And keep that firm pressure through your arms. Walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees, round up through your spine one vertebrae at a time after standing, inhale at the top, exhale round down again, walk yourself back out into plank, strong plank and then slowly lower onto your belly. From here, lifting up baby cobra and then into child's pose, hips to heels, long spine. Once again, round up to angry cat, tuck your toes under, lift up into downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, soften your knees, round up through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. This time, lift your arms all the way up above you, palms touch at the top, and then interlace your hands together behind your back. Press the arms down, lift your chest up, and then perhaps take a forward fold, maintaining this bind. Really let your head hang heavy, perhaps turn it from side to side, then release your hands all the way to the mat. Perhaps lift one arm up high, bending one knee, lengthening the other, and then moving into the other side, really opening your chest here. From here, forward fold and take a halfway lift as you inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, walk back out into plank. Awesome. From here, dropping your hips once again, this time cobra, lift the heart, lift the chest, tuck your toes. Can you go straight back here into downward dog? Shift forwards onto all fours and now step one foot forward. We're coming into a hip flexor stretch. I want you to place your hands onto your thighs and gently start to rock forward and back while squeezing your glutes. This is a really important important one after a flight, after being in that shortened hip flexor position for so long. Now you might like to increase this stretch by lifting the opposite arm to the leg that's forward up and over and then moving perhaps into a half Hanuman hamstring stretch. Hands either side of your front foot, sink your hips backwards and perhaps forward fold your body over the front leg. Finding a twist here if you like, lifting one arm up high same arm as leg is forward and then returning now to all fours, extend the leg behind you, cross your knees over each other and find this floating cow face position. So you're sinking your hips back and down and then floating forwards, back and down, inhale, floating forwards. And this uh, sequence is quite fast moving. It's to get that energy back into your body. Find your way up onto your feet again, standing tall, open your chest, inhale, Exhale, hands behind your head, rolling forward. Hands connect with your mat, walk out into plank. Drop your hips. We're going to do this whole thing on the other side, finding cobra and then finding child's pose. Good. Rounding up, step the opposite foot forward now for your hip flexor stretch on the other side, shifting forward and back while squeezing your glutes. 
And then maybe once again, you can lift that opposite arm up high to the leg that's forward and lean over towards the side of the front leg and keep squeezing the glutes. We want to increase that length through the front of your hip, finding your half Hanuman hamstring stretch, hips extend backwards, heart extends forward. And you can always keep the front knee bent here. Really important. Flexing the front toes as well will also increase the stretch. And then maybe finding a twist. And this one does take a lot of balance. So stay strong through the upper body, lengthening your spine. And then extending that front leg back for a moment before crossing the knees over each other and finding this floating cow face stretch again. Hips float back and down and then inhale, float your chest forward, back and down and inhale forwards. Uncross the legs. Okay, downward facing dog. Hopefully you're starting to already feel a little looser as you round through your spine all the way back up to standing and you can open the arms up there. My husband walked in front of the camera. How dare he? <laughs> okay, finding a forward fold position. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. So we're playing around here with the openness back extension and then spine flexion. So opening the heart, opening the chest, inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, hands behind your head as you round forwards. Then connecting your hands with the floor again and walking out into plank. Drop your knees and lift. And then always slowly lower yourself down onto the mat, either on your knees or your toes. Roll over onto your back and find a supine twist here. So taking one knee across your body, open the other arm up. And then start to draw some large circles with that top arm. So it'll sweep across your body, hands, fingertips will touch, and then draw that big circle all the way around. When you're ready, other side, hugging the opposite knee into your chest, then take it across your body and find that supine twist we all know and love, holding here. Start to draw the circles with the top arm. Inhale as you sweep the arm forwards, exhale as you open the chest and maybe your head follows your fingertips as you go. From here, making your way back over on to your back. Now let's continue this theme of opening up through our hips. But I want you to take your feet out as wide as your mat is and slowly come up into a shoulder bridge, just lifting the hips up and then peeling back down. And see if you can peel your spine off your mat one vertebrae at a time. You might like to lift your arms up above your head. Once you get there, come on down, then take the arms down by your side. So hips lift up. Arms reach up overhead, peel back down through your spine and then hands float back down by your sides. See if you can pair this with your breath. Inhale as you lift the hips and lift the arms up. Exhale as you take your hips down and bring your arms back down as well. From here, perhaps bring your feet a little bit closer together and then lifting up maybe even a little bit higher, more into your traditional bridge pose. I've interlaced my hands underneath me here, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other. And you can play around with lifting your heels off the mat if that feels good as well. Hug your knees into your chest and rock and roll like a ball. Try to aim for a nice smooth movement back and forth over your spine. And maybe finding a moment here in boat pose with knees bent or legs straight. When you're ready, make your way back over onto all fours and into downward facing dog, lengthening through your spine and your legs. Take a moment of three-legged dog or even a scorpion pose, yawning open a hip, bending your knee and just feeling that length through the front of your thigh. Fold your leg down, move into the other side, lifting your leg up, perhaps turning it out, bending your knee and then folding your leg all the way back down. From here, walk your hands back to your feet, soften your knees, round up through your spine. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands heart center. Perhaps take a moment to close your eyes, breathe here into this moment and even set an intention for your day or your holiday or your staycation ahead. Thanks so much for joining me for this express yoga practice to help you rejuvenate after a long flight and prepare yourself for your holiday or your stay ahead. 
I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please don't forget to leave a comment, to subscribe to my channel and uh, to leave a thumbs up as well. This really does help me make more free content for you. If you really enjoyed this session, I've got plenty more over in my full online fitness studio, Working With Steph, and you'll find a link to your 30-day free trial below. Remember to move beautifully and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.